Okay, today we're going to specifically search for a file of a Firebird that pulled into our parking spot back on July 30th and we're estimating somewhere between 1.50 and 2 p.m. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, right click on the screen with the mouse and that brings up my little menu icon in the lower left corner. I'm going to click on that. And that brings up the main menu in the center of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and select across the top of the menu. I've got Setup, Search, Backup, and Information. I'm going to click on the Search icon. This brings me to my general search screen and now what I want to do is put in specific parameters. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell it the date that I'm looking for and I can either go into these boxes and change the numbers manually or I can click on the little book of the month and then tell it I'm looking for July. Right now it says number 9 for the month. I'm going to change that to 7. Year is 2013 and I'm going to go to the 30th. So I've got July 30th, 2013. The time I'm going to put in at 1.51. One. Click OK. Now to the minutes, 5-0, click OK. The seconds I could change if I wanted to, and then AM and PM, I'm going to click once for PM, another for AM. I want to change it back and forth. In this case, we want PM. So I've got 1.50 PM, July 30th, 2013. Now, specifically, which camera am I looking for? And I'm going to go ahead and tell it a single camera, and I want camera number 7. And once I have that selected, everything looks good, I'm going to hit the check mark. And then this is showing just camera number 7, and I'm looking for the video around 1.50 p.m. It'll find the closest video to that when I hit the play button. I'm now playing the video in regular time, one times normal speed down here. And if I right click, that bar goes away, and it's showing me at the bottom of the time is July 30th, 2013 at 1.51 p.m. And a couple seconds go by and my DVR is set up to record about 30 seconds prior to activity. So we should see within another 20 seconds or so, here it is, this is what triggered the event, the Red Firebird pulling in. And that's at 1.52 and 19 seconds and it's rolling, the person's getting out of the vehicle, and that tells me what I need to know as far as that's concerned. Now after this takes place, I know that individual is going to walk through my front door with a package, and the idea is who accepted the package. So I know what time he pulled in, now I can do another quick search to find out when he walked through my front door and who accepted the package from him. But that in itself is uh, the way to do a search. My next step would be if I wanted to back that up on video, I would uh, go into my backup menu. And you can find that on the video, how to back up a file on my iPlex. Thank you.